All right, hey guys again. This is a quick tutorial on um, character sheet and some simple modeling instead of uh, uh, ZBrush. Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and get in here. We're gonna just take a small little cube. We go in there, hit T to get your um, edit going. Drop down in ge geometry. Well, you gotta hit make make poly mesh 3D over here. Boom. Now all your settings are gonna show up inside your geometry. We're gonna go down to Dynamesh, we're going to lower blur to zero. We're going to pop this up to about 300. I uh, hit Dynamesh. It's going to project itself. Okay, if we go over here, hit poly, draw polyframe. Now we see that this thing is pretty solid. All right, so it, see how you see how it's locked on its coordinates here? We're just going to kick it off filter, uh, kilter a little bit from de deformation. We're going to rotate it around the Z and uh, X and Z axis just slightly. Boom, that looks really good. Okay, then we're going to uh, maybe twist it a little bit. Let's do Z, uh, Y in the opposite direction. That looks good. We're going to go ahead and flatten one of those sides. I think the Y. We're going to flatten the Y side on one. We're going to flatten on the other. And then we're going to flatten the Z and the bottom of the Z. All right. So it's kind of dancing off its side there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to switch this to white. I can't stand that. All right. So now um, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift. I'm going to go to my brushes and switch this to, let's do the trim lasso. And... You know, release, go back, so you get your lasso there. So I want to rotate this on the Y now. Like maybe I cut it like by eye, like this. Yeah. Okay. So at one corner, that we're just going to stick in the bottom right corner of this one. We're going to chop. Wrong way. Chop down. Go to the next, chop down. Chop down. Chop down. We're gonna rotate it. Same thing. Always from the same position. Just trying to carve it a little bit. Yeah, looking pretty good. We're looking very, very rocky, very rocky blob, which is cool. It's what we're going for. You know, really kind of get the edges. It's like you're fastening it like a diamond or something. You know, maybe flip it up. One more. That looks pretty good. Just figure out where you like it from. Now I usually give it a twist and a little flattening. On the Y. On the Z. On the X. Looks pretty cool. Alright, so. Now it's a simple projection onto it, so we go, same thing, hold down control, go to lasso, um, and this is simple, you know, just give it a couple swipes, um, you can minus some of them out, maybe add a couple more. Something like that. 
But in, in a certain degree, you want your figure to be solid. You want to be able to be get in there properly. Maybe one over here. So that he's all one object. You don't want this thing to be disconnected at all. Alright. There we go. Now, see, we've created this mask, but it's got this fuzzy edge. So we can go down here into masking over here, and we can we can hit um, sharpen. Or actually, you know what I like to do? I like to grow it first, and then sharpen it. Sharpen it down, and then blur, and then sharpen. Blur, sharpen. You know, and we'll get pretty good. It's not our best. We could probably bumped up the. Bumped it up a little bit. Inverse it and sharpen it. Blur. Sharpen. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine for now. Let's blur it. Shrink it. Sharpen it. Yeah, we need higher polys. It looks... Oh, yeah, I see. All right, well, one thing we can do to fix that is we can go back here and we can re-dynamesh it. Um, we got to clear the mask first. Let's re-dynamesh it. So now we get an even kill on all those. That's what we needed to do. Okay, so now same deal. Let's draw on a little bit. guys like you know in some instances maybe you gotta get rid of some of that that was a little too much That looks pretty good. So as you see, our edges look much better. Now we'll go back into the mask again, sharpen. See now we have a really clean edge, much better than it was. We can clean everything else up with planning loops. So what we want to do for immediately is go ahead and duplicate that layer. We can turn that guy off. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down into polygroups. As you can see, it's uh, split a little in polygroups right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to group masks. And so we have this guy here, this green guy, which is masked. All right. Then we're going to flip that mask by holding control and left clicking somewhere. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale the inside. So if we go ahead and scale the inside like this, we can start start to see that going in. And from this point, we're going to smooth features. Smooth, smooth, smooth. All right. And we're going to crisp edges. Polish it down. So we're getting it pretty nice in there, you know. And so now what we could do is flip it and then scale this out slightly. And polish those features and there we go now when we turn on our other layer it's only slightly out so we probably
probably need to flip it back, make it grow a little bit bigger. So see how it, it goes over that glass now, or whatever we want the other object to be. Yeah. So here we could switch this to say reflective. Or what have you. All right. So flip back to this guy. I want this guy to be black. I just want to paint Oh, we got a poly paint. Switch the color back to black. There we go. And then we gotta fix her background color. Got a bit of fade back there. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, so um, now what we're gonna do is make a character sheet. My whole purpose of doing this thing, and now I'm just now getting to it. All right, so um, first of all, figure out what your top and bottom is. We're going to sit with this right now and go to Document. And down here, you're gonna, you want to clear all views. Clear all the views. And then you want to make front. So when you do the front, it will do the back. So now I can go down here and click back. Boom, there's the front, there's the back. And now if I turn it to the right, center it. Um, yeah, let's start up real quick. Clear all views. You want to frame it and actual size and frame it again. So now that's pretty much what you're going to get. Now you make front. All right, now we'll make right. Flip on this top. We'll make top. Remember, it does the bottom, it does the opposite. And then these other two are perspectives. So we'll do them like, we'll squeeze them out a little bit. That's a good one. Boom. And then we'll flip it around. See where it looks cool. That looks pretty cool. And we'll do that for the other custom. So now your character sheet is set up. All you have to do is document, make character sheet. It does all your views, opens up Photoshop just like ZApp link, and now it gives you all those views. So basically if you have a building or something and you wanted to accomplish getting all the views very quickly on some of your early illustrations, I think this is a great way to do it. And you have – basically you have eight iterations for the price of one. Anyways, thanks again. Uh, check out more videos on my uh, YouTube. Later.